Hello, everybody, it's Hassan 19, and welcome to the Beta Branch update for November 6th. So, this is going to be somewhat different of a Beta Branch update video, and it's going to be less as to maybe what's been done or what hasn't been done, and I think it's going to cover more on what we're finding out and what we might find out. So, it's going to be a little bit different. Now, I do want to take the opportunity to kind of explain last week, in which I called 1.5.4 an unmitigated disaster. Now, I called it that not so much on the crashes of the game. If you look at the crashing of the game, it's actually very good. There are certain instances here and there, and one that I get quite frequently myself, that I do crash. However, in general, it's not that bad. It really isn't. There aren't a whole lot of them. There are a few, one dealing with allowing a companion to take a quest. I get one when I try, and try to change different settings, especially into my performance. But all in all, it, it's not bad. Where I called it a highly mitigated disaster deals more along the lines of bugs, things that haven't been fixed, and the perk changes that were made. So, from a perspective of if you want to upgrade to 1.5.4 for just solely crash issues, then technically you could say yes. However, if you want something that is just really good and you don't have to deal with a lot of those issues, then you're going to want to probably hold off. Although then, we have news on that. 1.5.5 was slated to actually be released a couple weeks after 1.5.4. There is already talk about when is it going to be released. There is literally, from what I've seen, especially on the Steam database, that there could be a possibility it's released next week. 1.5.5, and that's absolutely no joke. I It would not shock me to see that on Monday or Tuesday. Is it a given? No. That would mean 1.5.4 would go to the main branch. Uh, the big news is I finally heard from Dev Mexico. It's been probably anywhere, it's been around two and a half to three and a half weeks since I have heard from him. And, and what he replied to me, in which I stressed about a month ago, he was going to be really busy. He stated to me that he has been so busy, he has not even had an opportunity to really hit the forms. Now, I am assuming that is because of how 1.5.4 was coming out, and 1.5.5 was being pushed soon after that. And I know that he had a lot of work to do with the policies. So, I understand why he's, you know, not been on the forums, because I knew he was going to be busy, and he told me a month ago that he was going to be busy. So now, the information that I got out of him, what he has told me is that, first of all, he has absolutely nothing to do with the herd penalty. He's not even involved in that. So therefore, that is something we cannot go to him for. He, he can't change anything. It's not within his authorization to do. Now, that doesn't mean we can't possibly find other ways to handle things as far as trading can be concerned. And I am actually in continuing talks with him about possibly changing a couple things around. But that we don't want to let go too much because we just don't want to get too much speculation going. Although he did specifically request one thing from me. Under 1.5.3, how long did it take me to hit 300 trades? So that is where we left off our discussion. So he is actually interested to know how long it takes to hit 300 trades, meaning we're dealing with everything as a price. So therefore, we might be able to see something in the future happening. We don't know just yet. 
I have also made a point of asking whether or not he wants me to test how long it takes to get to 300 on 1.5.4. But like I said, our conversation did get cut short. He was only on for maybe an hour or less today. So we really didn't get a chance to really go into it. We just did some real basic talk and discussions. So there's going to be more to come. I'm sure I'll probably, I might not hear from him this weekend, but I'm sure next week I'll be able to get some more information and maybe we can come to a compromise on, on maybe working a couple things out. We'll see how that goes. Hello everybody, and as you can see, the graphics are a little bit different than in the other part of the recording. That is because as I was getting ready to upload this video, I received another message from Dev Mexico. So I felt it was important enough to redo the video and bring this to you. As far as getting to 300 in trade, I gave him what I think I could do in 1.5.3 and what I think is possible in 1.5.4. His response to me is, let me see what I can think of. Although I am not the decision giver, meaning he will not make the final decision on what goes on. However, he is going to look at some possible alternative things that can be done to maybe help out trading which is great news. So I felt that was important enough to include into this video because it came right from him and I don't expect to hear from him in the very near immediate future because he's so busy. However, he said he will think of a few things. So therefore he is gonna put some thought into it and when Dev Mexico says he's gonna do something, I can trust that it's gonna be done. So hopefully I will get a word on this in the near future and can bring it to you. And as I said, when I hear something, if it's important enough, I'll make a separate video. Other words, it will be contained in this beta branch update. For the bugs and crashes that are out there, like I said, there are some crashes out there. Nothing, you know, major. However, bugs is another deal. I, I saw another post on the forum today, somebody talking about how you can't appoint your children as heirs. I already have a video up explaining that and showing what happens if you appoint somebody an heir from outside your party, how devastating that can be. Uh, I saw a new post about how siege towers aren't working that well. I posted a video on that as well. There's uh, the grain cost where it's not giving any relation. However, you can get 20 relation if you allow your companions to do the quest which that's what it was giving before, which they say all along it was only supposed to get five. So they're working on that as well. We still haven't heard anything about the map stuttering. To put it plain and simple, there are bugs galore. And I don't think we're gonna see any change to that. There are just way too many bugs that, as I said last week, it would take us till Christmas to get through all these reports. It is just so terrible. Now, I will say they did do a good job on the known issues page, and they did categorize the known issues into categories. So you don't necessarily need to go through the entire list. You can just kick, click on the main category to see if your issue is in there. Should you upgrade to 1.5.4? If you are dealing with just crashing alone, that is your only criteria to it being stable enough, I would say yes, if that is your criteria. However, if you are looking for something that doesn't have a ton, and I mean a ton, of potential bugs, that's another story. Then you might want to hold off just a little bit, because all we've gotten in the last, what is it, 12, 13 days since 1.5, Point four is released, two hot fixes. But as far as crashing is concerned, absolutely, I think it's it's pretty damn stable to go ahead and do. As far as bugs are concerned, geez, I don't know. So I'm really gonna leave that up to you to decide. You can even check out my playthroughs to see all the problems that are happening to go ahead and decide whether or not you want to go ahead and do that. I will also next week bring you any updated news that I hear from Mexico. And if it is relevant and important enough 
I will bring it to you in a video during the week. However, if it is not that important, all relevant information that I receive from the devs will be contained in the beta branch video. As I said, do not be surprised if you see 1.5.5 drop next week. It's a distinct possibility and I think it is now at the point of any time it can happen. So until next week, uh, hopefully we're not dealing with as many issues and we might be on 1.5.5 and maybe I can get you some more news from Dev Mexico. As always, take care and thanks for watching.